Guys, if you're hunting padlocks to pick and you type in the terms uh, high security padlock on eBay, more often than not, these Centurions kind of show up. And, you know, I've always avoided them. They're only like 15 bucks. I've always avoided them because they just didn't look impressive. And I figured at that price point, there probably wasn't anything, you know, too impressive about them. They actually, you know, with this orange cover and everything, they look kind of, kind of cheap. But a couple of you have alluded to the possibility there may be more than what meets the eye to these, that they may contain security pins. So I pop for 15 bucks, and we're going to find out. Um, for, when I hold it in my hand, it's a pretty hefty-looking thing. Uh, we got a rubber-coated shackle, which wasn't apparent in the picture. Uh, these little plastic parts here are really to keep rain from infiltrating and also to prevent us from shimming. Uh, I did uh, open it a minute ago with the key, and first of all, let's take a look at this. It's only a four-pinner. Nice, hard, plastic body. Got a bumper guard on the bottom here. And we had a nice little rain protector. But when you look at the keyway, wide open, it looks like... Doesn't that look a lot like a quick set, which, you know, is not really known as a high-security lock in itself. But four pins. I just wouldn't think, you know, wouldn't expect that much. Um, it's a little sticky, but it does work. And you can see that we have that angle. So this is, I believe shimmable. If you cut everything off of it, you could probably shim it, but we're not after that. What I'm curious about is, does it contain the security pins? And let's find out. All right, nice wide open. Let's try a top of the keyway. And I am first going to attack this as if I knew nothing about it. Uh, nobody had hinted. And I'm just going to attack it like I would a four-pin master lock, which means massive tension, use a 25 thousandths pick, and use it as a pry bar to force everything. And I'm really taking no care. I'm just lining up with the pin and just forcing it into place. And it's given up nothing. Nothing. All right. Now let's try a little different. Let's just apply, uh, try a very light tension. Use the same pick. See what we got. Ah. Okay, I'm having a little micro clicks, just like you would expect with a serrated. And there is an open right there. All right, guys. I think... I think for 15 bucks we can sacrifice this thing because, you know, it may not be super security, but if it's a $15 serrated pin training lock and it's only four pins, so for beginners that would be a good amount to start with, I think that might be a good investment. We would have a use for this in Locksport, uh, but the only way to do it, of course, the only way to figure it out is to destroy it. So I think, I think we can just break this off of here. Yeah, wasn't even glued. All right, so we got a 50 millimeter, let's say 60. I really can't read it through the camera, but I'm going to have to destroy the lock. I'm going to grind off all of these eight rivets. I'm going to cut off the plastic. We're going to pry that off there. I'm going to pull the core out. I'm going to gut it, and we're going to find out if, indeed, there are three. I think there are three serrated pins in here is what it felt like. Let's find out. All right, guys, I was wrong yet again, and that's not even the first time today. But let's take a look at what we got. Um... When you take a look at these little pins, the, all of the key pins are all standards, but when you look at those drivers, they are not serrated. They look almost like, I don't know, like molded spools. I mean, they're, I guess they're supposed to be spools. They have uh, raised edges on both top and bottom and a low part in the middle like a spool, but they just look like not very nice spools, and they certainly are not serrated. And when you add those edges on both ends of all the driver pins to what I found inside of the core. I'm going to shine a light in here. I don't know if you can see this. Those are not, it's not threaded, but when they drilled this, they must have drilled at a really high speed because it, it left spiral stri stri the striations in all four of these. So I think when you combine those little striations, not uh, concentric, but just kind of spiraling all the way in with the raised edges, that might have, uh, that might give a feedback like serrated but these are not serrated pins like we were led to believe. So you get what you pay for. $15 lock, you got $15 worth of pins. Might be good for training to like a simulated 
uh, uh, serrated pin trainer. Anyway, guys, I know that wasn't much, $15 lock, and you, nobody wants to win this. Instead, I'm going to substitute a million-dollar giveaway. Yeah, that's right. I have two of these that were donated by somebody that bought too many of them, if it's possible to have too many Sparrows disc detainer locks. These are currently sold out, and I think until the coronavirus is over, uh, Sparrows is probably not going to have any more. So they put, a, as a joke, million-dollar price tag so that nobody will order them, I think. But I've got two of these guys, brand new, still in the wrapper, and I'm going to be giving them both of them away. I give one away now, and I'll hold one of them for, uh, to give away a little bit later. If you'd like to win a brand new, still in the wrapper, Sparrows Disc Detainer pick, stick around. I'll tell you how to do it. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe, stay legal, stay healthy. Thanks, guys. All you need to do is navigate to locklab.com, the tribal website, and scroll down in the middle of the page. You'll see all the giveaway buttons Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But the one you're looking for is the Weekend Review Giveaway Purple Band. Just click on it. It'll take you to the registration page. Again, scroll to the bottom, put in a good email address. So if you win, I can get in touch with you, let you know. Put in a username, doesn't matter what it is, and click Submit. When you're done, you'll get a green check mark confirming your entry. Thanks, guys.